How long ago did the dinosaurs become extinct? 6,500 years, 65,000 years, 650 years, or 65 million years ago? And the answer is 65 million years ago. This is a fossil of a protoceratops. Now by studying fossils of extinct dinosaurs, their eggs and their bowel droppings, we can understand what they look like, how they lived and what they ate. A herbivore dinosaur ate only plants, fruits, seeds and nuts. Which dinosaurs were herbivores? A Diplodocus, a T-Rex, an Ankylosaurus or an Allosaurus? The Diplodocus was a herbivore. It was about 33 metres long and had a really small head and a small brain. And the Ankylosaurus was also a herbivore. It was about the same height as a human and about 6 metres long. Its main feature was the thick armour or plates of bone on its back and its club-like tail which it used for fights. What is an omnivore dinosaur? Is it one that eats only meat? One that eats only plants? Eats plants and meat? Or eats smaller dinosaurs? It's one that eats plants and meat. Now a Gallimimus was rather ostrich-like with a small head, toothless beak, large eyes, a long neck, short arms, long legs and a long tail. Scientists think that it may have been an omnivore, eating plants, eggs and smaller dinosaurs. What does the word dinosaur mean? Ancient animal, terrible lizard, ugly reptile, or extinct reptile. It actually means terrible lizard. Now an iguanodon is a perfect example of a terrible lizard, or should we say a terrible looking lizard. How many horns did a triceratops have? Two, four, one, or three? It had three horns. Now the clue is actually in the dinosaur's name. Triceratops. Tri means three. Triceratops had a huge skull about one metre long and three horns. They were herbivores. Look at their blunt grinding teeth used to chew up plants. On the third picture there you can see the skeletal remains of an adult Triceratops and a baby one. What is the name of a flying reptile that lived at the same time as the dinosaurs? Was it an eagle saw, a pterodactyl, a magidactyl, or a swallow isis? It was a pterodactyl. Now that word starts with a silent P and you can't hear it. The pterodactyl was a carnivore and mostly fed on fish and small animals. Its wingspan was about 1.5 metres when it was fully grown. 
And on this slide, there's a great picture of a pterodactyl fossil. Which dinosaur was not a carnivore? Tyrannosaurus rex? Stegosaurus? Diplodocus? Or Allosaurus? And the answer is Diplodocus. Now there's a picture of a Stegosaurus. An Allosaurus, look at the teeth, long and sharp, perfect for ripping up meat. A T-Rex, now its teeth look even more vicious. It would be perfect for ripping meat apart. And then we have our herbivore dinosaur, the Diplodocus. Which dinosaur was one of the largest carnivores, up to 18 metres long, and had a head shaped like a crocodile and spines on its back? Now the spines on its back grew as high as 1.6 metres. Was it a raptor, a spinosaurus? a protoceratops, or a zalmoxus. It was a Spinosaurus. And this is a picture of a real Spinosaurus skeleton. It's huge. Look at the people in the background. Look how small they look. Check out the head on this dinosaur. It looks just like a crocodile. And those huge spines on the back would have made it look really, really monstrous. It certainly would have been a scary dinosaur. A protoceratops was a smaller dinosaur, about 1.8 metres long and only 0.6 of a metre high. They had powerful jaws to chew tough vegetation. And raptors walked on their hind legs and they were quite fast. Zalmoxes were herbivores. They were fairly short, two to three metres long, and they walked on their back legs and had a large triangular head, short neck and beak. Can you recognise this dinosaur? Here's a clue. It lived in Africa. Now think of an animal that looks like this one. You find this animal in Africa today. It's a giraffe titan. Can you name this dinosaur? Now it's a huge one, it's 26 metres long. Look at the picture of the man lying next to one of the dinosaur's bones. That will give you an idea of how huge it was. That's only part of its leg bone. And the top right, you can see a picture of a man next to this dinosaur. So it would have been huge. The clue is that it was a tall and gentle giant. And it was a Brachiosaurus. What is this dinosaur called? It was large, up to 12 metres tall, a carnivorous dinosaur that ate smaller dinosaurs. Its skull was large and it had dozens of very sharp teeth. It's an Allosaurus. Dinosaurs are so interesting, but boy, 
Their names are really hard to pronounce. So I hope I've done a good job.